Welcome back to The Lost Digit. Today we're looking at the Breville Barista Express Espresso Machine. I got this in stainless steel. I found it on sale at uh, Williams Sonoma, so I went ahead and got it. Now we're going to look at the unboxing, what comes with it, and then the initial espresso and setup that I did. And there's still a long way to perfecting this. So initially it comes with the double shot uh, insert here. And then it comes with the tamper, a razor that if you have too much uh, coffee ground it actually allows you to lower it so that you can figure out the right height for future uh, brewing comes with cleaning tablets some cleaning tools uh, that you can stow away in the machine actually and then single and double walled single and double espresso uh, inserts for the machine so it's really nice that it comes with all of this and I've yet to experiment with the double wall filters but the single wall so far seem to be working well uh, they say it's for either fresh ground or pre-ground, but I'm not really sure uh, how you would use pre-ground in this unless you weren't using the grinder at all. So it comes with a quick start guide. I tried to follow it the first time. Uh, it also comes with the frothing milk canister and some more cleaning solution. So it's really good quality and it feels uh, nice. I'll probably keep it on top of the machine for when I need it. Now, when we take off the plastic and set it up, there's just a few uh, things you have to unwrap and remove the tape from. But if you look in the back when you remove the bottom tray, that's where you actually keep the cleaning utensils. So it's really convenient in that sense. And then it has this drip tray that should separate the grounds from the water so that the water can go to the bottom. It actually has a pop-up that will tell you if it's full so that you can empty it. We should probably clean this pretty often and not just let it sit. It has a nice uh, steaming wand that's um, got good motion to it. And then if you look at the front of it and the side of it, you see we have the grind size setting on the side. And then on the front, you have the power button, grind amount, filter size. So once you kind of hone in on, on how much you want and what works for you and your bean, then you can just leave it at those settings. And then single and double for the filter size, pressure uh, while brewing, and then the water settings as well. So the first thing we'll do is, is put this on top, which is where we're going to store our beans. So you just have to make sure to lock it in. So once it's locked, it's basically done. What's nice is you can remove it and clean the burr grinder if you need to, or if something happens there. So that's it. Um, all you have to do now is just put the tamper in, which is magnetic. So it just sticks in there. It's really nice. And then fill water in the back. So this is how you remove the water uh, storage container here. You just pull it and lift. I'm gonna go get some beans and then try to make some espresso. So when you turn it on it actually takes a little bit of time until the right side is is fully solid. That's when it's ready. So I went ahead and ran some water through it uh, several times actually just to get the machine going uh, because it was the first time but if I do this in the morning I'll probably just run it once before I make an espresso just to make sure that it's to temperature and, and everything's running well. What I wanted to try also was the the steamer just to kind of flush everything out for the first time so you can see it took a little bit to get a solid flow of steam but once it started it definitely would be something that should froth the milk really well and easily. There's also a water setting which will allow water to drop from that little nozzle on the right. So the way it works is you just put the um, machine on the settings you want and then when you push it in it'll automatically just start dropping grounds uh, to the amount that you set. So these all need to be fine-tuned and I'm still figuring out you know what settings I want to have just to get that perfect pressure and, and extraction amount uh, from the beans. So the first time I was trying to figure out how much to put and it was still because it was the first time I used the grinder the amount of grounds coming down was inconsistent but now after the first time it's actually uh, more consistent. So the next thing you do is you turn it on and what you can see is that the pressure was too high so the coffee was actually too fine and maybe I put too much pressure while 
um, tamping it so it's called over extraction so what I did is go to a more coarse ground and then a better quantity setting so you can immediately see that it's still wet uh, it didn't go well so the first time threw it away and then wanted to go ahead and try it again so now I changed the settings as you can see here on the side it's pretty easy to do and then also the grind amount on the front and make sure you have the right filter size single or double also made that mistake um, when I was trying the single one after I forgot it on double so once you have all those things set just push it in and it should fill up once it's full you can tap it a bit and then tamp it hopefully this is the right amount now it's a little better than last time I'm still figuring out how much pressure to actually put, but that's part of the process. So you can see here the pressure gauge is, is more or less in the gray zone, which is good. And you can see the froth and the amount of liquid is, is much improved from the previous time. So I think that's good for a, for a first time. I'm going to continue work to improve this. Uh, I've already tried to make 10 different ones in the first hour that I've had this machine. So I know that I'm going to have a lot of fun using this. To empty it, I got a knock box on the side, so it's still a little too moist. You can see here the puck is not dry, so it definitely needed more optimization after this. So you just hit it on the side, and that's how you can empty it. It's very convenient to have this. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any questions, and maybe I'll do an optimization video. Thank you.